Hey, and welcome back. That was a bit of a break between parts, huh? When we last left off, things were looking pretty good for Ralph and friends. Ralph had just been released from prison and started making something of himself. He had a popular show and was getting big names on, such as... No. Sam Hyde, Andy Worski, The Quartering, Onision, Nick Ricada, Mumkey Jones, Keemstar, John McAfee, David Stay, Yellow Flash, It's a Gundam, Dame Pesos, Sargon, Vosh, Brittany Venti, and of course the main focus of today, Mr. Mediker, aka Jim. Ethan Ralph's Rogue Gallery. Not only was Ralph doing very well for himself, but when we last left off in part one, Ralph had just raised $26,000 American in charity for the St. Jude's Children's Hospital from one single stream, albeit a long one. And whether you like Ralph or not, what he did back in 2018 was a pretty commendable thing that would go on to help save children's lives, right? Popular YouTube host accuses Wall Street Journal of canceling over $26,000 in donation funds. Wall Street Journal! So the $26,000 for St. Jude hasn't come in yet. And a few days ago, the Wall Street Journal has been talking about doing a whole story on how the biggest late night show on YouTube is making money off of hatred. So no comedy today in this one. The Wall Street Journal is literally taking money from children dying of cancer because they didn't like a YouTube stream. So apparently there's this late night YouTube show stream, which is apparently gigantic, like the biggest one, called The Kill Stream. And they have all sorts of guests run by a guy called Ethan Ralph, but apparently all of his guests are, you know, kind of problematic. So the past week... Wait, 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 Ethan, Ethan Ralph, you said? Yeah, Ethan. Is that Ralph Retort? Yeah, Ralph Retort. Uh-oh, but we're not at that point yet. In between the heel stream and all that money getting refunded, we had a few things happen that I like to call the kill stream side stories. Similar to the X-Files Monster of the Week episodes that you could easily skip if you wanted the main story, but I like X-Cops, so we're going to go over some of my favorite kill stream side stories. A few days after the heel stream, on October 2nd, 2018, Jim would go on the kill stream along with Null to go up against someone that they were calling Fake Ross. He was given this name due to him sounding very similar to one of the only human beings in known history capable of performing a mega re. <laughs> Fake Ross would go under the name Super Kai 64 in reference to the dedicated Wham Kid would get questioned by Jim for his list of targets that were doxxed in Kraut and T's Discord server, as well as his involvement on it. If we talk about, you know, like comparing causes to believe in, I, I think you could teach me lessons because I haven't threatened this sh political gatherings yet. But you and your, but oh, was that a joke? So I'm curious. When your good friend David invited you into Kraut's Discord server, but then disavowed and said he had no relationship with you, and when your good friend David said he doesn't associate and like there's a little division between him and Kraut, was that an entire lie? Why are they hanging out with violent extremists such as yourself that threaten to kill people for their political beliefs? I mean, they had a target list, right? They called it a target list. And here you are hanging out with them, threatening to kill people. So what, what is that target list exactly about? I mean, could your good friend David explain a little more? It was just it was just like re research, like, like watch, write videos and then like point out like the stupid shit they say. Yeah, you know, like get background information on them, maybe find out where they live, make it easier to hunt them down for you kind of thing. No, I mean, do you dox people or not, Super Kai? I mean, like I never even... What? Have you? Do you dox people with a no. with a strap? No. No. no? Do you, pinky promise? You, you're not lying. <laughs> oh, was that only? <laughs> no, no. Was that only <laughs> something? <laughs> the, the only reason why we came into I came into that chat because we we're talking about how Tim Pool has you know how there were how his connections to you know all the alt writers like he was in a photo with people who marched in the Unite the Right rally. Well, how many times have you been, uh, hung out with uh, David and Kraut together in Discord? Like, like, no, no, I never, David was never in the voice chat. It was just 
Well, he said things. he invited you he in. Yeah. So if David's not in the call, why would he invite you into Crowd's Discord? How does that make sense? Fake Ross told Jim that he was writing a book on internet nonsense and that Jim was going to be mentioned in it. Tribute, like, like, okay, am, am I, am, I'm, like, hey, I'm making a book about, I'm, I'm writing a book about internet culture, and like, you're kind of contributing to like the toxic en- environment. So, toxic you know, like, environment? You threaten to kill people because you disagree with their politics, you fucking sp- Can you name some of those people on this list that you're doing investigative research on? This was like, dude, I wasn't even involved. This was like eight months ago. I wasn't even involved with that. Was Sherrod helping you with the with the uh, text on this? or <laughs> is, he, is he co-writing your book? Is he a ghostwriter on it? Is it called Why <laughs> I Killed Them? <laughs> is that going to be the name of your book? <laughs> He's just he's just a guy that I follow on Twitter. We don't we're not like best friends or anything. And he invites you into his Discord. Your non best friend, the guy you kinda maybe sorta know, inviting you into other people's Discords, but you don't well, really talk to him. Jim sarcastically announced that the majority of his audience was around eight to eleven, and honestly, I wish he had gotten to me that early. Most of your audience is underage. So they're highly impressionable. So oh, you, there are, the, the majority, I, I did a poll, yeah. The majority are at least eight years old to eleven years old, ninety percent of them. I refuse to believe that the majority of your audience are uh, are not underage. Oh I'm no, seven. they're all they're all preteens. Yeah, no, it's a preteen uh, it's a preteen army that I've been raising. Jim came to my preschool. I did. I recruited him right out of it. He showed me his channel, and here I am. Where, where do you think he got the nickname <laughs> Joe? He used to be Billy. Fake Ross doesn't have too much else importance to the story, so I'm going to show some fun clips before ending it. You said earlier that you have severe autism. No, no, someone said. So someone said. No, you. Uh, that you said that. I said I had crippling autism. That doesn't. That's <laughs> 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 true. Uh, I mostly draw trains. Uh, come on, <laughs> come on! No, this is. Bull- I, that's 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 the bridge too far for me. No. Trains, trains, like. No, like, I you heard know, you. Know, I heard you. No, I don't believe it. Uh, that's where I draw the line. This is too much. Fast forward two more days. On October 4th, 2018, Jim would hop onto the kill stream to talk to Boogie, a future Rogue Gallery member himself, about the BetterHelp scam that Boogie was making money off of at the time. Let me copy uh, you get that if you go to betterhelp.com slash Boogie? Yes. Interesting. Yes, you do. Well, I guess DeFranco's been... I guess I've made DeFranco literally dozens of dollars at this point. <laughs> Yeah, there's the link. You guys can check it if you want. Yep, I see it right there. Holy shit. Affiliate plus UTM. So you're saying you didn't know anything about this? Like, this is just. No, man. I don't ask questions like this, dude. Like, I. I, I, The whole reason I. The whole reason I work with a brand manager is so I don't have to ask questions like this. He's like, here's the deal. Here's the product. I try the product. If I like it, I do the deal. That's all I ever think about. Boogie, you, you don't you don't ask questions like this, but I mean you're you're promoting a service for people that are depressed or have the ideation. You don't right, think- but I used but right I used it for six weeks before I recommended. Well, yeah, yeah, but I mean that that's the clever marketing technique that these people use. We get the influencer to say they use it, and then any criticism brought against the the application of the service is deflected away because I used it personally. But I mean, oh, this, is Medi- Medi- this is Megator, right? Medicor? Well, how do you pronounce your name? Uh, me- mediocre. Regardless of what you think about Boogie, when Ralph told him that Boogie's fans were trying to flag down Ralph's channel, Boogie would tell them to knock it off. By the way, Boogie, the Boogie but... your fans are trying to flag down our stream, man. You should, you should probably denounce oh, that. Don't... Guys, don't fucking do that shit. Don't fucking flag. You guys know I encourage criticism of me. You guys fucking know that. I want people to make their videos. I want, but I, I wasn't even mad about Lucy Fox, guys. You fucking know this, okay? Let people Boogie. say whatever the fuck they want to say about me, guys. We would even get treated to Boogie talking about all the things that Ralph has called him before. Yeah, I'm not E3. Fish. Sorry, I meant VidCon. I went to VidCon and E3 this year. I so got him confused. Okay. That's why, it's, that's why it's so fucking dangerous for me to be on a show like this. Because when I get anxious, and of course I'm fucking anxious, I'm on, on here with Ralph. Ralph has called me every name in the goddamn book at this point. So 
Um, you know, I, 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 I will at least he's not, at least he's not playing the sound clips. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it would be a real shame if one of those sound clips suddenly was, went off. Wouldn't it, it? would be terrible. <laughs> it would be terrible. Would be terrible hit that one clip that I already uh-huh. told him to play before Boogie left. Uh, Boogie would then talk to us about him and the quarterings relationship before V called in. Let's see some highlights of this magical moment. Scott thing's been brought up too. It's just like, oh, I always love people and be nice to people when it's clear. But that's just I, how I personally we, feel. We had cornering on here, and he said you're not you're not really like that in private, and and that that's kind of a like false. Well, I mean, yeah, ask him about that. What's the deal with interview, you and uh, you and cornering? Jeremy there Hamblin? Be, yeah, there seems to be bad blood. <laughs> oh, I will. I, I don't want to start shit with Jeremy again right now, but he, I do. He, I want to hear it. Please, please tell us what yeah. the bad blood. Is. I'll do it. I don't care. I don't do want it. to deal with it. Go for it. But, He's a humble ambassador. Uh, but of so, so long story short, me and Jeremy were friends for a really long time, and we talked all the time. And he got to know the real me. Got to know he knew when I was starting to have marriage troubles. He knew that stuff. We, he sponsored my YouTube streams when I do magic unboxings. Everything was cool for a while. And then he started like um, what I felt was attacking other people. He would t- attack Tularian Community College. He would make these memes where like you know Wedge was sucking off the professor and stuff like that, and he would share it. And I I found that. And I lost my fucking mind. Wedge has been a friend to me. The professor has been a friend to me. And so I got him on the phone one night. I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you fucking doing? Why do you fucking do this? You're a fucking sociopath. Why? You're not the person I thought I was friends with. What the fuck are you fucking doing? I don't understand who acts like this. Why do you do this? Shit? Like, why don't you just concentrate on unboxings? That's what I liked your content for. Why the fuck do you do this? Shit? And I, I probably called him every name in the book. I probably called him a sociopath, probably called him a psychopath on the phone. I probably called him every name in the book. But that was me angry. That was me anxious. That was me depersonalized. That was me being an ass. I apologized to him as soon as it was over, as soon as I was back down to like earth and, and not a crazy person anymore. Um, and we've been friends again ever since. But yeah, every once in a while, I was like, I got a Skype conversation recall, call recorded where Boogie called me every name in the book. He's not. Yeah, he said guy. he had it recorded. It's because, it's, it's because he's fucked. It's because he's fucking attacking uh, my friend Brian, who I've all been friends with for just as two fucking years. If two people gotten uh, into a house, uh, uh, two of your oldest friends from like the last five years got into a fight in your fucking house, and one of them started swinging first, who would you throw out, man? Who would you be mad about? That's who I was mad at. I got you. It's kind of weird, though, that he'd have a recording of you going off and threatening to play it, though. That's kind of scummy, isn't it? Well, I mean, if that's how he protects himself, and I don't know that for sure he has a recording. I think I've I think I've heard that secondhand through one of his friends or something like that. I don't think he's ever directly said it to me. Was but, this was this you know, friend certain, a little Romanian certain, uh, pigeon by the name of V? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's V. I think who said he's got a yeah, recording. V. <laughs> I mean, was it really? Yeah, I think it first really time? was V. By the way, V. Somebody messaged me this on on Twitter, and I forgot well, about no, this. V, v, v made videos about me and talking. About well, there was a he, he had a clip. A really nice guy. Boogie is a piece of shit and Boogie and, and Jeremy has proof. You know. Well, V seemed to imply that you were um, maybe a fan of cheese pizza. I guess would be a way to put it. Uh, uh, I don't know so. what that means. Um, um, I, I, child. I <laughs> what? Uh, no. Yeah. Why? What? Seriously? No, he he kind of left it hanging Holy out. Fucking yeah. He, he kind of left that hanging. He, he didn't finish Holy the thought. Shit. But yeah. By the way, I know I know you've been uh, generous with your time, but uh, V stopped in uh, real quick. If you if you hey V, to. what's up, man? Yeah, hey, I, I want to clear the air because uh, you did point out that I made a video about you, and uh, you know I, I've been thinking. Oh, you made several. I've heard you on several podcasts. You made several videos. You have ridden me like a fucking pony, dude. I don't know what your deal is. Yeah, and, and this is why I'm here to clear the air. So I was playing. I believe it, it was pretty fucking clear, dude. It seems pretty clear yeah well let me let me explain it from my point of view um i have been a huge fan of yours especially during gamergate and afterwards i've been following your channel constantly and the reason i was doing this is because you came off a very um how should i say very very innocent gamer like person uh one of the very few youtubers who look like that and then i was playing with the quartering and arch warhammer we were playing uh some warhammer 40k and it was during the controversy regarding uh, the MTG thing, the cosplay thing, where the quartering uh, was attacked left and right. Oh, yeah. I went uh, fucking off on him, and I'm not afraid to admit it. Yeah. I call him every name. Of the but here's dude. what happened. Here's what happened, right? I think you called him, and he was playing with us, and it was actually his microphone was still on. And, and I could hear you literally screaming at him. And as you said, you were yeah, calling him all the names in the book. Yep. Right? That's exactly what I said. Every guy literally yeah. called him a fucking sociopath psychopath piece of 
how dare he attack the professor? How dare he attack my fucking friends? Fuck you. I just literally yeah. word for word what I said. Exactly. But then like three seconds later on the Twitter, you post this thing where you say that you're still cool with him. There's not, no, not nothing wrong with him and you're still friends and blah, blah, blah. And to me, that, that seems so disingenuous. Uh, I mean, you, you, it's hard to scream on Twitter, dude. You know, and what else am I supposed to fucking say? I, at that point, I went from being very angry to calming down. I went from out of control to some level of control. And then I, I, I was like, you know what? This isn't worth losing a friend. So I, I, okay. I guess now that you're saying it, but, but you can see how it looked from my point of view. No, it's fine, man. I, I Here's the thing. I don't know why you, I, even if it did look like that, I don't know why the fuck you made a career out of like three months of talking about it, like every chance you had. But I, I guess if that's what your life is, that's your life, man. So that's it. That's exactly what I did. V is, v is telling you that he has never had a confrontation with Don Sargon. He, he will not step out of line. Oh, well, yeah. Capitals can't do that. The skeptic mafia. That's not a lot. Right. Uh, here's what I actually believe, V. If, you, if, if we're really throwing punches tonight, and I don't fucking mind throwing punches, I believe that you were being purposely obtuse. I believe that you were being disingenuous. That's what I believe. I think you were doing it because you wanted to ride my fucking coattails, and that's what I Whoa. genuinely believe. And if you apologize for that, I don't want it. That's what I believe. I believe that I believe that you were taking it out of context. I believe that you're using it to ride my coattails. I believe you're using it to, to put my name in videos. I believe you were purposely, purposely ignoring it when it clear, as clear as day is what it is and that's what i think about 80 percent of people do on youtube when it comes to me no i I'm, I'm generally saying i'm not doing that if you look at my channel i don't usually put people's names in my well, maybe you're not doing it now but i think i get guarantee if you i'm I, I either that or i'm just gonna be i'm, I'm just I, like i said if we're throwing punches we're throwing punches mm -hmm. i think you're smart enough i think you're smart enough to have put those together on your own and i think you chose not to to me the most if you're not that smart if you're not that smart then hey that's up to you but i think you're smart enough I really, I really like this boogie. I've got to say, you boogie, really you. swung my, yeah. you swung my opinion around real quick tonight, man. So uh, I, at some point, I was like, I was like, I'll tell you something. I, I'll, I'll tell you something, dude. I, you, you, I, 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 I'm so anxious right now. I'm stuttering. Sorry. I'm like, dude. I'm so fucking miserable with this fucking divorce and shit. I tell you what, I will give you ten thousand dollars if you will fucking get an assassin to blow my. In the middle of the night, I will make sure that my lawyer wires you ten grand if you can get me. Fucking, can you do that for me? Because I don't have the balls, and I don't want to fucking go through this divorce. I don't want to go through this. Sh so fucking in me. So, now, so you asked Jeremy. You asked Jeremy to hire an assassin to kill you, but you do realize that in another video, you complained that people hired assassins to get rid of you. Do, do you understand how that looks from the outside when people no. know this knowledge? I, I don't because I I have enough sense to realize that I don't mean something like that when I say it. I don't actually want an assassin to show up at my fucking house. Yeah, uh, kind of. Hey, B, I mean, uh, all right, all right. It sounds I, like I, 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 B. It sounds like hyperbole. If the dude's going through a divorce and he's down on his luck, he's probably. Of I, course, I've said, no, I've, 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 I've said shit think. like V. I've said shit like that. Oh, I wish somebody would fucking kill me. This it's, yeah, it's my way. It's my way of expressing to my friend Jeremy that I'm so fucking depressed. I'm feeling suicidal tendencies, and I wish I had. I, I, I want to talk about it. Yeah. That's and, and that makes sense. No, hold on. That, that, that makes sense. But then you make a video and you say that so, you, you have evidence that someone hired the assassin to kill you. I mean, you just several, people accidental. several people have. I literally can show you uh, the death threats I get in DMs right now or not DMs in, in fucking email every day. And then I can show you where somebody hired somebody on the fucking tour network back in 2011. I think it was 2011 to fucking paid them $3,500 $3, in Bitcoin. Can you imagine what that's worth now? $3,500 in Bitcoin in 2011 to fucking have me killed. Sorry, I was on the dark side. And, and how do you expect that? I don't think <laughs> that maybe you asked the guy to to hire the assassin to kill you. After learning how your brain works, I'm not particularly fucking surprised what you think at this point. <laughs> oh, boogie, so like boogie, just giving me no slack. <laughs> it was a pretty dumb thing for Jeremy to do because he's heard he heard me say stuff like that a hundred times. Oh, I don't know. What, what do you expect? I, you know, I, 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 I don't believe it was just a joke and just, well, it's a hyperbole or something, but the cops were involved yeah. again. Like, it, it no. clearly escalated. <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy taught me that day that I cannot trust him with those kinds of statements around him, so I've never made one since. Fair enough. But yes, yeah. I yeah. do struggle with my suicidal tendencies. I have had suicidal tendencies. I've made about a half dozen videos on them at this point. I, you know, and I talk about it frequently. And sometimes when I trust somebody, I will express my 
suicidal tendencies to them, hoping that they are smart enough to know that I'll never actually act on them because I haven't acted on them since I was 30 or since 2009 was the last attempt that I acted on them. And uh, I want them to know that I'm safe. And I would never, if I was suicidal, what would be the logic in telling someone? If I had planned to kill myself tonight, what would be the point in telling somebody? They're just going to interrupt it. If I was actually ever suicidal, no one would know until I was gone. Am I muted? No, no you're here. I you're know. here. Let's keep starting. What's up, you. guys? This is this is one crazy stream. Yeah, <laughs> this is. You never All know right, what's cool. going to happen. Okay, with the kill I'm, sorry. I'm going to say this uh, after talking with you, Boogie. I'm not going to sit on you again. I, I wish I could have talked with you earlier. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> and that's and, and that's the thing. Yeah, it was just we did. Oh, I, I, I do want to offer you a sincere apology, though, for that. Um, uh, the reason I didn't, I talk, accept it. And I appreciate. I think it. it's pretty fucked up that you brought up the whole like you know hiring someone to kill himself. I mean, that's really private details that I, I put it in the chat. Give, I, I didn't make to give him problem. credit. He gave me a chance to not talk about it, but I'm so open about suicidal tendencies. I wouldn't even be mad if he just talked. It was about so fucked. Like that's such a thing. That was all the interesting things on that stream. Fast forward a few days to October 8th, and Jim would seemingly foreshadow Ralph's downfall, saying almost exactly what would happen in a few years down the road, while Ralph would then follow it up with him talking about host drama. But, oh well, you're already there. There he is, Mr. Medicare. how you doing, sir? Oh, how are you boys doing? Ah, uh, you know. Same old, same old. How you I'm seeing, doing? The, I'm seeing those numbers. That's impressive. You guys have been hitting five over 5K now a couple of nights in a row. Yeah, just having fun doing the same shit we do. Yeah, isn't it great when you can do a show and not <laughs> it up by being re- <laughs> 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 Right? It's a, it's a, it's a wow. really, it's a, what would the religious, oh, the, the Southerners, the religious Southerners would say, it's a blessed job. Well, you've got a great job, huge audience making good money. And all you got to do is not implode. It's well, really it was, that simple. Yeah, It was quite close today. We almost scrolled down a Twitter page. We shouldn't have scrolled down. It's almost like the process of elimination. If you look at the history of, of this, uh, of this uh, genre, uh, we, we kind of just didn't implode. No, no host drama. No and host still, drama. Yeah. You built, you built it up. I mean, I remember your first couple of streams, you had like a hundred people watching. You're up at yeah. 5,000. By next year, you'll probably be breaking five digits. You're probably up at 10,000. Well, I mean, if things keep trending this way, we will be. Yeah. Both Ralph and Jim talked about the failing numbers of the morning Kumite, Tonkasaw's flagship show, and of course, where he went wrong. I don't know. Andy's kind of like Rasputin. You can't, you can't kill that dude. It, it's so weird, though, Ralph, because I thought there was no morning audience going by another show that's on at that time slot that only gets like mm. 200 people watching. <laughs> I, uh, where's, Andy, where's Andy getting these numbers from? Oh, there's a lot of people that want something entertaining in the morning. Oh, do they? Are they desperate for some entertainment in the morning? <laughs> I, think so. I think so. It's been clearly Me lacking. Personally. The people are desperate for it. <laughs> Me personally, I think so, yes. Now, let me ask you, wh where do you think uh, Tonka and the Kumise went wrong? Oh, well, I, I gave my two main gripes, which was the, uh, the Viva Loss was driving me crazy. And the fight me in real life stuff was just, I, could, I couldn't take it after a certain point. It's like everybody, I want to fight everybody. And um, that was one of those things where if you hear it enough time, you're like, I, I don't know, maybe it's just a difference in age. Maybe, uh, maybe I am old now at this point, but I grew up around uh, an online culture where if you got to the point where you wanted to fight somebody in real life because they made you mad on the internet, you lost. Uh, yeah. You lost. Yeah, <laughs> that was it. That was that was game over. You look like a fucking re. Um, I, I I just think that there was like this. I I don't know, man. It was again. It's the easiest in the world. It's the easiest formula in the world. Andy and JF had a huge audience, made a lot of money. Tonk and failure, huge audience, made a lot of money, but. This infighting just can imploded them, right? And it was just to the point where, I mean, everybody splintered off and did their own thing, right? And JF's doing his own streams now, and I think he's pulling in like uh, anywhere between one to 2,000 people. So he, he kind of survived it, right? Um, Andy looks like he might be getting back to it. There's only one guy that's having some difficulty, you know what I mean? There's, there's one guy out there that's seemingly struggling with this. Now, maybe that could be because once he gets angry at you, he tries to make love to everybody that you ever fought with, like people like, I don't know, Kraut and uh, those Sargon. particular gentlemen. Yeah, Sargon, based Sargoy of Applebee's. <laughs> Sergon. Uh, Sergon. 
Now, let oh, me you ask you, is, is there a certain a bit of, I mean, maybe frustration because, you know, you've been on our stream many, many times. You, you, you've promoted us on your own stream. You've tweeted us out. Uh, but you did the same thing for the Kumite. And they were rolling right along. Now, of course, uh, maybe I shouldn't toot my Well, heart. and I'd like to add, too, you know, in the intervening months between kind of when the Kumite ended and Andy kind of stopped doing his thing, I didn't talk shit about any of them. No, you didn't. I, yeah, I didn't. There weren't. I wasn't throwing out jabs at them on a daily basis. I wasn't making videos or streams shitting on them. I just kind of left them to do their own thing. Tonka is the one that suddenly wanted to get into it. I mean, he puts out these passive aggressive tweets where he's like, oh, look at this multi-billion dollar international corporation <laughs> and their fucking sporting events got these many people watching. Well, no, idiot. It's a billion dollar corporation. <laughs> what are you brain dead? You fucking retarded monkey. What are you talking about? Of course, a wrestling organization or a fucking MMA organization has the money and the marketing to get a big audience. And then this whole, let's set, set up fights between everybody. You know, newsflash, champ. Okay. I, you know, uh, people with 50 million combined subscribers are going to have people watching them if they're sitting on the toilet taking a shit. So I don't know if it's necessarily the fight component of that that drew in the fucking eyes. It might just be that they're at a point where they have enough of an audience that they tune in for anything. Well, but like, be, you know, yeah, go ahead. Oh, sorry. To be fair, that, that, Stream you was talking about only had 20k people watching it. Yours had 27. Oh no! But didn't you see the backpedal after that? He said, "No, I didn't mean live viewers. I meant total views afterwards." Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then he <laughs> he put out another one. I think taking a shot at you guys, where it was like 6,000 viewers on like some WWE thing, and he's like, "This is so much better than people sitting around on stream uh, fart huffing." Yeah, I've seen I've seen that and look, I don't know. You know, he did a stream with the Logan Paul thing and he had 7K watching. But the title of the stream made you think that you could actually watch the fight on the stream. So there were a lot of people tuning in and they're like, "Whoa, I'm about to see this fight. Let me let me watch this." And then they tune in and there's no fight there. I mean, I don't even know if you'll call that clickbaiting. That's, that's I, I don't just... know. My advice to Tonka would be uh don't be bitter, be better. All right, you want an audience? Earn the audience. Be entertaining. Nobody wants to listen to Godzilla for four hours in the morning with dead air interspersed every 20 minutes. Both Ralph and Jim also spoke on how Tonkasaw was still mad about the IBS Apocalypse stream that we featured in the last part. I think that this is one of the best examples on how far Ralph has fallen. And after listening to this, I want you to imagine 2023 Ralph talking like this. Yeah, and, and look, my whole thing is, and of course, he claims, you know, he messaged you at the time or whatever. I don't know the whole details because, I, you know, I don't control either of you guys' accounts. Um, I, I would I would expect that if he had said, you know, stop the stream, that you would have stopped the stream. Um, but even even if he had all that beef, it's like Andy said, what are you doing? Like, this makes no sense picking a fight with Medicare. And I told, I, you know, I've said the same thing uh, before to various people like the, like why are you doing this this guy promoted you for months it just doesn't it's not really a logical move so if for some reason you know down the line you decide you don't want to come on our show um for whatever reason maybe you're just busy or maybe you just don't feel like appearing on live streams you know anymore that's fine w what am i going to say oh jim's a piece of after all the times he came on our show and helped promote it and pimp it out on his own stream, that makes that's just looks like sour grapes, you know what I mean? But it's time for another kill stream side story that happened the next day on October 9th. This one about a man named Kenny Jones, cyber stalking an ex streamer named Margaret McKinnon. And trust me when I say this one goes hard. Now let me ask you why you're here. Did you? And we didn't get to talk about it tonight because the the stream is actually three hours long, and I haven't had a chance to go through and timestamp or do some type of supercut. Did you? I saw you tweeted about the whole Kenny Jones thing. Did you know anything about that or the Kenny? Uh, yeah. So somebody sent me a, a timestamp of a stream that uh, it was Josh from Kiwi, right? Yeah. I uh, did with this dude where he's like, oh, if Jim wants to make a video on me, he can make a video on me. But the, like, the stream is like three hours long, so I didn't watch the whole stream. So I don't know exactly so what, what's the story behind that. What's the situation? Um, so basically he donated a power supply unit to Margaret McLennan, who uh, used to ghost right from, I, th I think you know Margaret, used to ghost right from Milo and do a bunch of other things. Actually, on the Medicare Masterson mega show, she came in for 
like five minutes. It wasn't very well received because it kind of threw off the stream, but uh, she, she's a friend of mine. She's been around for a while. She's pretty funny. Um, anyway, he donated a power supply unit to her, and then she stopped making streams. Um, one of the main reasons she stopped making streams was because uh, this guy was kind of, you know, like stalking her, basically. Um, and now he's on a autistic quest to... I don't know, expose her or something. And that's what that stream was about. He's paid some people to make a video for him. Originally tonight, we were going to do a segment on that. But like I said, I didn't have time to go through and timestamp it. Um, it's complete autism, basically. Uh, so, okay, yeah. so th this guy donated parts then? Or he was like a, a patron? Yeah, so what? he was a Patreon uh, supporter. And she was making, you know, building a computer or whatever. And he sent her a power supply unit and now he feels cheated because she took down her videos and she's not making any more videos and she's not playing overwatch like he wants her to play and so he thinks she should either a make more videos b like give him the copies of the old videos or a and b do both and you know start start playing overwatch again well mm -hmm. if he's unhappy <clears throat> with the shit that she's doing like he stopped giving her money right that would be the first thing wouldn't it yeah, he did stop giving her money, but he he's taking his other money and started. So he hired a private investigator to you know, oh, find what? out. Yeah, he hired a private investigator. Uh, he's hired people to kind of uh, uh, f with her. Uh, according to her, she's he's also spoofed phone numbers, trying to like you know, uh, you know, message her phone and shit. Uh, I mean, he admits on that stream that he so absolutely wait, hired the private he, investigator. He, he, He's doing this because he wants the power supply unit back, or what? What? No, he wants he wants more Margaret McLennan. Basically, he wants he more wants more Overwatch videos. Yeah. Wait, so the dude hired a PI? Yes. To hunt this chick down because he wants to watch her play Overwatch. Yep. Yes. Yes. You got that one hundred percent correct. It gets even it gets even worse. There's <laughs> it's a lot more. By shit. By the way, Josh, do we have the do we have the uh, crossover worked yes. out? Yes, it's already set up. Okay, uh, Josh from. Uh, from Kiwi Farms, maybe maybe he can explain it again. I've been on the inside of this for a while because Margaret's a friend of mine. Null would later call in to talk about the situation himself and say how much of a nut Kenny was going after someone not keeping up with their Patreon rewards because she was hospitalized. Null then talked about how nonsensical the whole thing was because there was nothing to gain from his actions, but he could lose his job over it and has already gotten in trouble for this before. Hello, hey. So, okay, yeah, this guy's fucking crazy because he, <laughs> he, he, he was getting bullied in the voice chat in the Discord. And he wanted to, he was afraid of me making a thread on him. So he's like, let's have a conversation over uh, voice chat in private. And I was like, okay. Um, about 15 minutes into talking with this guy, I'm like, okay, I have to make a secret live stream and show everybody in the Discord what, what this guy is saying when he thinks it's in confidence. And he goes through this story, and basically what it is, is uh, he bought a power supply unit with a couple other fans of this this chick who was popular during 2016 uh, during the election as a as like one of the Trump women who were kind of getting popular. And the arrangement was that if they bought this new gaming computer, because her laptop was junk and it couldn't render videos properly, uh, she would start doing a, a certain schedule where she would put out content like every day of the week. And after the computer got bought, she didn't uh, she didn't fulfill that obligation because she has Crohn's disease and she had some kind of medical emergency shortly after the computer got put together. And uh, since then, Kenny has been on a crusade to get her to fulfill that obligation. And he basically said during the live stream that I was putting on uh, secretly that he would stop harassing her if she did one hour of content a week live streaming. And... Um, and re-uploaded all the videos she deleted when she got spooked by the stalkers that were harassing her. So, uh, he, and I asked him, he's like, do you even watch this shit that she's doing now? And he said, no. He said, it's just the principle of the matter. So he doesn't even watch, or he says he doesn't watch what she does, but he is demanding that she, that she do this for, for this principle, this obligation that he's not interested in himself. So why why is he hiring a PI then? I mean, he knows what her what? social media is, right? Like, why what does he need the she, PI? For? She had said that he's from a city where three women were found dead, and it's true. The city he's from actually does have an active serial killer, 
and she kind of implied that it might be him because he's a creepy weirdo, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Okay. So he wanted to sue her for defamation, and he claims he hired the PI to uh, dox her so he could send litigation towards her. He never did sue her, but the PI, uh, after I guess he also thought that uh, Kenny was a creepy weirdo, um, extorted him for thousands of dollars to keep the fact that he tried to dox her a secret. Uh, he didn't pay her, and the guy kept his word and did uh, alert her over text Yeah, the guy, the guy said, if you, pay me, if you pay me $3,000, I won't, I won't tell her all the shady shit you've been doing. Of course, he, he didn't pay it. It, so. it was a guy from, like, Sri Lanka that he hired on Fiverr. <laughs> oh, so he got, he got hustled. Okay. Yes. Okay, yes, yes. 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 Wow, that's, he must be a very smart cookie. Yeah, he, he surprisingly, he does have a master's degree in uh, mm-hmm. whatever the f*** he called the study of Zoology. snakes. He's a zoologist. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's, it's like hepatology or something. It's specifically the study of... of uh, well, who uh, hires a Sri Lankan investigator on Fiverr? <laughs> Everything he does <laughs> is from Fiverr. He admits hired that... hired everyone from Yeah, Fiverr. he admits not only this, there was something else he hired off uh, Fiverr, but he's doing this hit video on, on Margaret, and that's what we're waiting for, for him to put out. But to do this, he paid $100 on Fiverr to have the script written. He paid $100 on Fiverr to have a voice actor narrate it. And he's paying another $100 to have it professionally cut. So, okay, so how much, okay, what's like the, what's the average price for a power supply unit? It's like 50 bucks, isn't it? He, he paid he, 250 for the most expensive he, one he could find. Yeah, he bought a, a 1200 watt gold certified power supply. Okay, and, and he paid the Sri Lankan private investigator for five or three grand to keep quiet, and then he spent $300. No, no, they, they, no, they, no, no, no. Yeah, he extorted, the guy yeah. said, if you don't pay me three grand, I'm going to tell her all the shady you've been trying to do to her. He didn't pay the three grand, and then he, he told Margaret about it. Yeah. Oh well, at the very least, he spent more on the five. Oh video yeah, dude. No, than he did yeah, on yeah. the power. He supply, sunk right? so much money yeah. into this. Not only that, he knows I'm friends with Margaret, right, and have been for years. And so he's, he, you know, he's hung around our Discord forever. He's tried to hung, hang around, our, you know, my stream and stuff. And then today, he sent me a message said, "I'm gonna shut down this Discord if you don't do this and this." And so I just banned him from the Discord. So. <laughs> so he's, he's, he's like legit mad. He wants yeah. more vengeance. Yeah. yeah, he's he's pretty much dead. over. The funny <laughs> thing is, <laughs> no, well, well, it, well. it's also that, and he was a five dollar a month or five dollar a video patron on Patreon. And whenever you whenever you point out how illogical he is and how nonsensical it is, because I went at length to to say if you keep with this chick and the people that you're you're hounding, like Jim and like Ralph, start to buy into the story. You realize that people are going to find your job because you've told people what your job is, and you might get fired again. Because he he was uh he was in the labs at, at some museum where he lives, and after people started telling them that he was stalking Margaret, he got uh fired from that. But he still works for that same museum as a field researcher collecting venom from snakes. And I'm I'm telling him like you know you say this is your dream job, but everything you're doing is putting this at risk, right? And he, 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 whenever you say that, it's like, well, you know what? It's the principle of the matter. It's the principle of the matter. I can do whatever I want, and it's completely justified because it's the principle of the matter. And that's that to me was like the 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 telltale sign that he was a, a legit creepy stalker. Because no matter how obvious the logical fallacy was, and no matter you know how hard you you are easily you explained it to him, he would always revert to it's the principle of the matter. So in his head, he has like rewired his brain to see this as the logical conclusion of, of what has happened regarding the Patreon and the, the gaming PC. Oh, so if, if she were to give him back the power supply unit or give him the money's worth, uh, the equivalent of whatever it cost, would that end it for him? Would that no. be enough? At one point, Josh no. asked him, like, if you give me the, if, if she gave you the old videos and just, you know, and he kind of seemed to say yes, but I don't believe that for a second because if you look back on his Twitter I history, he was, you know, he was very thirsty uh, for this woman. Josh and, uh, asked him if yeah. if she would stream without a face cam on. Would that be enough for you? And he said yes. Not only he that, just wants her to sit there. Well, Margaret then, has an yeah, illness, yeah. so Margaret sits there sometimes. With no camera, yeah. no audio, and just yeah, Overwatch playing. He said um, he, he would be he would be fine with that. He just wants her to sit there and stream for him, even without a mic, even if it was just her on her account playing the game with no face cam, no <laughs> mic, no interaction, he would be okay with that. And to me, that was like, 
So you don't even care about the content. You just want to force her to do something she doesn't want to do. And that's your satisfaction. Well, I've got to listen to the stream now. Now I have to hear it. Yeah, like, are, you, are, are you sure he's you not like like While that was going on, Kenny actually super chatted into the kill stream saying that he wanted in. Right, You're going to bring on a couple of people. Who, I uh, messaged him now. Uh, we'll see. I, I don't know if he's going to answer now. We might have to do it tomorrow. I don't know if you're willing to talk to him or not, Jim. But. Well, do, do people wrangle snakes in the evening? <laughs> he just <laughs> super chatted. Oh, hey, there he, he is. Just, Did he really? Oh, he wants in. $5. He wants in. Yeah, there you go. You guys hey, can have your combo. If he goes oh on, can God. I bring on one or two people? All right, well, let's... I'm here, Ralph. Let me in. I can't defend myself if you banned me for disc. Okay. Well, I don't have to let you back in oh, the Discord. Go. I, I uh, I'm going to grab a drink. This is going to be right, fun. Go ahead. I'm going to go grab one myself. But um, so, Kenny. All right. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get some more here back. I guess I guess I could let him back in temporarily. You know, he threatened the Discord. That's why I banned him. Cause he's like, well, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this Discord banned. Ugh. So I was like, okay, f you get out. That that's the only. And he's been fucking around for months, by the way. And I didn't ban him. Kenny tried to justify his actions, saying it was about the principle of the whole thing, the exact same way Null described it not too long earlier. Kenny Jones, you're on the air on the kill stream. Hello, fellas. What's happening, man? What's up? Hello, Kenny. Uh, not, you know, not, nothing much, nothing much, you know, just, uh, just here to, you know, give, give my side, uh, you know, it's, it's hard, to, it's hard to defend yourself when you're banned, you know? Well, look, I I, and I I'll say this that. again, and I'll say it to your face. I, I, I'm assuming you saw the stream since you super chatted it. And the reason I banned you is because Somebody, you came in there. Someone, t someone sent me a, a message on Discord. See, I'm, see okay. what you can understand is. Wait, Kenny, 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 hold on. Let me finish what I was saying. The reason I banned you is because you came in the patron chat, which you do give on Patreon, which that's great. I uh, appreciate That doesn't mean I'm going to just let you do whatever. So you came in the patron chat and you said, Ralph, if you don't do this and this and this and that, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, specific. Well, I'm going to report you. you. Uh, you I, said somebody, you said somebody was using your dad's photo as a, as a, uh, I said someone is doxing my family. That's what you said. I didn't see and the evidence the, of doxing. I didn't see the evidence. I, I linked you to the evidence. I took okay. screenshots of the evidence. All right. I'm just telling. And then you said, well, I'm going to message these so, Discord admins. And I said, don't, okay, don't you're banned. I said, okay. Man. Okay. I said, okay, you're banned. Anyway, you're here now. Oh, well, I'm here. I'm here now, but that was a, a kind of a massive injustice. You, you're telling me. Not really. Jim not here, really. Um, Kenny, I almost psychopath. banned you like 15 times over the last two you, months. For what charges? What, what rules did I break? Because you're. Fucking stalking my friend. That's what the fucking charge was. No, Do I need a bigger charge friend. than that? Okay. I'm not okay. Well, that's what we're. Ralph. That's what we're here to talk about. Okay, we're here. I'm here. Okay. Well, go right ahead. Tell us why you're not. Because everything I've seen is that you are. I, I, last time I checked, you should, I should have to prove my innocence. Usually, have to prove your guilt. Okay. So it's pretty you, obvious. I, I, Why do you so, have seven damn Twitter accounts trying to tweet at this chick? The, pr the proof was she's doing the extreme? people. The proof that she's Why? cheated her Patreons. Cheated her her. Pe Why are you well, stalking I can't. her? I know I'm you not do. stalking her. No, wait. Let me, let me ask you. Of you. Yeah, no, look. Let, let me ask you, Kenny. You, you tweeted at Margaret at least 300 times. Is that correct? Well, and, and the la lifetime of, of since I've been following her? Yeah, I'm saying at least. By the way, it's probably closer to 500 or 700, but... At least from from my from my uh, you know amateur perusal, you you tweeted at her at least three hundred times, correct? Man, I, I don't I don't know how long how many times I tweeted. I, I mean, I probably tweeted you probably two hundred times myself. I don't know. Okay, so I, I don't, I didn't, I, I so let, let me let me continue. Time. All right, okay, all right. You don't you don't necessarily want to. You're saying that's that's fair though. That's that's not an exaggeration. That's probably fair. I, I have I have no idea. I, I don't. Let count me my ask tweets. you. Do you? So you're saying you don't know? You don't know if that's fair or not? I I, I don't know. I can okay. honestly say I don't okay. know. You do not recall. Okay. Do you um, think that Margaret wants contact with you? Do you think no, she wait, wants to? Let me continue. Hold on, hold on. I I want to I want to continue. I, I've been involved with this quite a long time, believe it or not. Um. So you you were a Patreon supporter of Margaret, correct? That's right. Okay. So you, um, how much did you get per month? 
about five five dollars um per video it wasn't it wasn't per month for most okay most so time. my yeah mine's was, set up was, per month not per video obviously i do 20 streams per month that would be a little that'd be a little even for me so um <laughs> so i have mine on per month but hers was on per video how many videos do you estimate she did per month um about two two to three possibly i would so say you're saying you're 10 to 15 dollars in the hole per month right it yeah. was set for a video, but then when she stopped doing content, um, surprisingly, she set up per month. So she didn't have to do any work to do to take money from people. All right. And how long after she switched it to per month were you still a supporter? I wasn't a supporter after that. So it didn't. Have, okay. So you were only paying per video. So you paid for what you got at that point. Yes. But you have to understand every video that people, Patreons have paid for has been taken down. Right. So every video that the Patreons have supported, they cannot watch. They cannot access. They have no access to. And now, that's one issue I have. A, I, that's me, one problem I have okay. an issue with. But let me ask you, you watched those videos when they first came out. Yeah, I swear okay. did. Yeah. OK, but you don't own the copyright of those. I mean, the person who put those videos out still own those videos. It doesn't mean that you have the right to them in perpetuity. I never said I did. Well, you seem to be angry about it right now. That's why I'm asking. Uh, I'm I'm, ang I'm angry because, like like I said, if somebody sponsors content, they should have the right to at least view the content they sponsor. They you should have, the right, to but you, but you are, but you have right to access. You have right to access that content. You already viewed it. <laughs> I, how do you know? I, I may have missed one. What do you mean? You, know, you just you said just, you watched all of them. I, yeah. I, I mean, look, I'm not. I, I make mistakes. I could have missed one video. <laughs> but and I'm, even I'm going I, by what you said, even, Penny. Yeah, I understand you're going by what I said. All right, but I'm trying That's to explain. That's all I can go by. That, that, you know, it's possible I've missed one. It's possible that the okay. other individuals have well, missed. Whose five, fault is that? Whose fault is know? that? Is that is that hers or yours? It's hers once you take down all the videos. If her, she her obligation. Them, would you watch them? I beg your pardon. If you re-uploaded them, would you watch them? <laughs> That's irrelevant. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You're very upset that you haven't gotten to see maybe one or two videos, but you don't know if you'd watch them or not. It's the principle of thing. Here we go back to the principle of thing again. <sighs> but she fulfilled her obligation, though. She uploaded the videos, <laughs> and it's, and she's denied access to the videos as they well. They were up as they were up in the first place, though, and you. Like, what, what do you mean the access? Do they have to be up forever, or there was no agreement they, where they, they had to be up forever? No, no. I mean, uh, like, it's, it's did you it's sign a contract when you when you donated on her Patreon? Was there something that you? I didn't realize it was contracts you had to sign on Patreon. Okay, but the, there is no, videos. Can you still, but, but you still but, are you still obligated? But to there's your no statement saying these it's videos great. are going to be up forever. There's I'm going to make these videos. They were made. You saw them, and they're not there there's anymore. There's a reason, then, Ralph. There's there's certain, there's, a, there's certain limitation here. I mean, yeah. let's not let's not pretend that you know you you put the video for five seconds and take it down. Well, that's, that's not the case. I mean, they were up longer than. But that. how do? You, uh, but I'm just saying that there's you know there's bounds of reason here that that you you're, you're annoying. It amazes me to this day how this guy is able to make Ralph sound like a rational and reasonable guy. No, people people was calling me a stalker long long before you I even asked you for help. Because you were doing stalking. You know? Do you know why they call me a stalker? Because you're stalking. Question? Yeah, but go ahead. No, I'm not. No, no his thing. Like, if if a, a stalker typically follows the individual on on every available platform, typically speaking. I, I don't I don't follow her on on her live streams. I don't I don't watch her periscopes. All right, and you know so, you see what I'm saying. Like I don't you don't see me posting. Okay, on, on so her you Instagram. didn't send me a message when she came on during the Medicare Masterson show for ten minutes and said, "Oh, it's great to see Margaret back on live streams again." You didn't send me that message. Yeah. But that that was a kill stream, Ralph. I, but I you sent kill stream. You, you did send me that though, correct? Yeah, I I did send you, send you that. Yeah, yeah, I did watch the kill stream. I guess you're right. I did watch the kill stream. I am a Patreon supporter, so I guess I did watch the kill stream. I get, you know, I mean, I'm guilty. What can I say? Okay, so okay, by your logic, you know, Ralph takes down his streams. Do you feel that your Patreon donation to him is being violated by him taking down his streams? He also re-uploads them somewhere all else the time. Not if you can't. If he can't, then that, you know I don't expect him to do the impossible. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just I'm just saying. I mean, 
you know. Kenny, are you still interested in Margaret's content? Do you still watch her stuff? Do I, I can't watch her stuff. She's taking it down. But she makes new content. She, She's still yeah, she, no, I don't I don't watch I don't watch that content. So why did it why did when a couple of people asked you that she was talking about you in her last stream, you said no, she wasn't. I watched it. How would you know that she didn't talk about you if you're not watching her content still? Because I jumped over there and, and seeing what she was she was. Oh, so you are you posting. are still watching her stuff. When somebody when someone, someone you message, when somebody messaged me and says that Margaret's talking talking about you and previously oh, okay. says I'm a serial killer. Yeah, I do I do jump over there to see what she's talking about. Now, by yes. the way, okay, so you're talking about when she she joked about you being a serial killer. Joked. Well, she joked. did, but oh, you, no. you had with her for months and months, and she said, "Oh, well, look at these dead bodies in this guy's hometown. He's creepy as fuck." I mean, I mean, what? What do you? I, I never accused her of doing anything she didn't do, man. Do you? Yeah, I mean, what, she what, just wants you how to is how is this equip? How is this equivalent to accusing me of being a serial killer? She didn't say outright you were. She didn't though. say you. She did it as close as legally possible. She didn't say it was you though. You're the one that stepped up to the plate and said I was the only you. person that challenged her to the kumite. <laughs> Just going to be taking that mantle upon yourself. By the way, you also sent her an email. Let me let me go ahead. Okay, and be, before you get to the email, are, are, are we sure this isn't a troll? You're not. No, no Jim, no, it's one thousand percent not a troll. I know Margaret. You're uh, sure he gave her money and he gave her PSU. I this, swear to God, this is a laugh. This, We're not having this. Is one hundred percent? No, it's for not. Over two years now. I wish I could say this was a laugh. It's not. It's one hundred percent true. This is exactly now, how he always. Now is. there was a caller. Ralph would point out that Kenny had risked everything, all because of a $200 power supply that he sent her, and called Jim the biggest bully on the internet. What, what do you mean? What's, well, I guess my pan, my pan stocks is right, and I can't deny that. No, I mean, you said, you you know, said that... I had, I had to get my... I had to, Today, I went to go pick up my mother, and, and, and me, I took her back to my house. Yeah, right? well, I don't so, care about that. I, look, that's not my bag. But, but what I'm saying is, what, what's wrong about... like? I, Anyway, my, my what, point what was you, you put your job, you put your career in jeopardy over sending a power supply unit to a girl on the Internet. That's that's uh -huh. you, you put your whole life in jeopardy over some dumb. And if you listen it, it to the was, stream, it, let me let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. And I'll let you finish. You put your whole life in jeopardy over the dumbest ever and if you listen to the stream with you and Josh just the other day, you're fully willing to continue to just. You know, tank your entire life over the dumbest. I'm willing to make that last video and end it all. Yes, you're right. End it all. Oh, I make fun of you for making the video. I don't. I don't care if people make fun of me. Clearly, you I don't. That, yeah, but you're I'm, on I'm here, here trying to defend I'm, yourself I'm, again. I'm here with with the, the you know the, the biggest bully on the internet. Clearly, I don't care if people make fun of me. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Who's the biggest bully on the internet? Hey, Mr. Medica is the coolest guy on the internet, from what I hear. He's the you know he's the man with a plan. Right, so I'm just trying to explain. I don't, I don't care if people make fun of me. <laughs> I like Jim's stunned silence. <laughs> he won't even approach that. After Kenny tried to say there was no way he could have foreseen what would happen, Null pointed out that he told Kenny exactly what would happen to him if he kept up these actions. It, I just because just because I, I care in general about what people on the internet think of me because you know I, I'm I'm sick of I'm sick of I don't want my parents to be drugged into this, right? I don't want to be some kind of crusade. So why don't you for, just stop? For, why don't I just stop? Yeah. I, I mean, how was it, how was I supposed to know that that this crusade would be going against me for doing absolutely nothing wrong? I specifically warned you what would happen. It happened, and, Josh, because you live streamed it. It happened because I was trying to talk to you reasonably, and you could you live streamed the video, Josh? It happened before that, Kenny. You been we were, reasonable in it. No one docks me before that. Time. No, Kenny, that was out there before that. Half a dozen people were telling you you're gonna lose your job. Your parents are gonna you're gonna you're gonna get your house stocks, you're gonna get your parents' stocks, you're gonna lose everything, you're gonna end up like this if you don't stop doing this and you kept on doing it and look where you are. Yeah. You're yeah, delusional. Yeah, yeah. 
And it's you're, like you're, you're when blinded you, when I told by you, autism. When I told you that the live stream was happening, what did you do? Did you say, "Oh, well, this is bad. I should probably bow out of here." And, and oh, just, well, you mean you mean you mean hop off so you can say, "Oh, he's had something something to hide." He had he he no. ran away. Okay, even if that's, even exactly, that's exactly what you would say. The live stream. Even if you didn't abandon it, what did you do when you got called out? You said, "Well, that's fine. I, I didn't say anything that I wouldn't have said in public, anyways." And right. I don't care if Jim makes a video on me. So I, that's you, exactly you right. Ask for it. I well, you you asked me a theoretical question, right? You asked. You said, "What if Ralph made a video? What if Jim Jimmy. made a reaching out?" Well, I mean, I'm sure there's, there's as ethical as you are, so. I might give him a check out, you know. Yeah, he weren't you saying that on. that Ralph would back you? Up? <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't know. I'm not getting a, I'm not getting to read one way or the other right now. I'll be honest with you. I mean, it, you know, Kenny. Uh, let's say you're legit and you're not fucking around and trolling. He's not. You got you got hustled by. I a guarantee chick on, you, he's not. You got hustled by a chick on the internet for some cash. You're upset about it, and then he tried getting uh, you know getting back at her, and that cost you your job. Like what? Uh, how far down the rabbit hole are you gonna go? Like you're gonna end up locked up in prison before See, you get your vengeance on this, or like what? What's the cost to you for this? But and with the, the my last my last step was just gonna make the video, man. I was just gonna make the make the video, put the, some of the, the evidence I had had. Did you say the King Jones song? But, but, but instead, but instead. You- I mean, here, here's the thing I don't get. Like, okay, so you were mad before, right? I get that. Uh, you paid money, you didn't get what you wanted. All right, whatever. Um, but you're saying now, like, okay, well, this chick cost me my job. So why would you be satisfied with just releasing a video at that point? If because you that's all. Because that's all. I, that's all I can do. But you've been pursuing this this Patreon shit or the video thing for like a year, yeah. right? You put that much energy into it, and then you got fired. And so, it just got, video is going to be satisfied. Well, oh, suspended, fired, whatever. I mean, but just a video is going to be satisfactory enough. If somebody got my yeah. ass fired, I'd probably, I'd probably want blood, right? Like, Ralph asked Kenny what exactly he was trying to accomplish by making this video he was planning before kicking Kenny off. What exactly is this going to accomplish? It's going to be closure, and it's going to, and it's going to clear my name for at least some of these accusations. It's not going to clear your name regarding being a stalker. You can call me what you want to. I, it's irrelevant to me. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't need your permission. You're a stalker, and this is going to make you look like an even creepier stalker. Yeah, I don't, I don't really think it's going to turn out how you want. As a matter of fact, I don't think it has already. It just it just seems stupid to me. E- even if you accept everything you're saying, which I don't, but just say, okay, you're 1,000% right. It just seems like it's been a, um, a massive loss. Uh, yeah. Um, let 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 me let me try to try to explain. Um, mm. A lot of you guys, it's been probably a, pretty, a decent long time since you you've been the the underdogs um, against a, a superior um, a media personality or, or public figure, however you want to call it, right? So if if I would have went out there a few a few you know, when it first, first began and tried to expose Margaret. Right, I only, I only have two hundred some followers to, in, in comparison to seven hundred some thousand. Right, so if I just went ahead and just made she twist, doesn't made, have seven hundred thousand. She has like uh, seventeen thousand. Seventeen thousand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah she has seventeen thousand. Right, if I went out there and made my little tweet, to, you know, only only two hundred and some people maximum would hear it. And let's be face it, majority of those people are inactive. Right, the only the only alternative for for me. Would be posting underneath her comments, so that the, so her fan base would see. Well, that's what you, you know, did. Yeah, and that's exactly, and that's what I did, right? The alternative would be to go play with fucking snakes and just forget about this. No, that's I'm not. No, at the time I thought there was is a possibility <laughs> of prov- proving proving my um my point, right? Uh, at the time, uh, there was a Patreon still open. At times, she was still charging money. All right, right, Kenny, 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 I'm going to give you the final word because I'm I'm starting to get like just I've heard you talk about this for months and we just had you for like 45 minutes and just just go ahead. I'll I'll give you the final word. I'm a generous. I'm a generous man. Just go ahead. I'll give you the final word. I I actually I just I have a final question. Okay, if you'd rather make it a question, that's fine. Yeah. 
Um, if if you don't mind, what what has what what make why are you so defensive all this time protecting Margaret so much? What? Well, what I, don't, I wouldn't say that I protected her. I mean, you're, you're here. You're here oh, writing on this yes. stream. You know, you you have you have. You have a take to her like a super white knight for Is good that long right? Time. Is that right? A month. I a mean, month. if you're asking, if you're asking if she's a friend of mine, and do I believe the things she said about you? Yes, and yes, um, without so. proof, without evidence. Well, there's plenty of because proof, when I asked you evidence. for evidence, you didn't give me none. There's you plenty said, of evidence you for these spoofing a, of phone you just calls. You a stalker, and that was it. You didn't. You didn't well, offer any you've evidence. Clearly, been stalking her. I mean, it's not even a question. I mean, there's all the stuff she sent me personally, and then you have people on the stream. You have the stream that you did with Josh, where you talk about hiring a private fucking investigator over a power unit that you sent to some woman on the internet. How no, that, crazy is that? Why you're fucking crazy, th- Kenny. You're crazy. That's not why Kenny, I hired a private investigator. Think about what you're doing. Your own fucking job just almost got. Out. What, what are That's you doing why right I now? Hired a private You're detective, stupid. Bro, what are you doing? Your whole life, life is being ruined over a fucking power unit and a Patreon donation. How fucking stupid are you? No, Ralph, no. Yeah. You're, you're fucking ignorant. What else can I tell you? You're a fucking dumbass. You a fool for believing that. For believing okay, that's well, why I did it. I can just look at your life in ruins. Uh, I can see your your family, uh, their whole history up on I, TV is, farms. That's not I can why see. I hired a private detective, Ralph. Okay, all right. Well, that's look, just just I keep it going. It. Look, just keep it going. I mean, look, it's just gonna give more laughs. I mean, fine if you don't want to listen to reason. I'm not the only one who said this. On October twelfth, twenty eighteen, Jim would go into the kill stream to debate a furry. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. I, I got uh, oh, a furry that uh, <laughs> kept escalating things. So uh, he he made it seem like he, you know, he was like, I, somebody's like, why don't you settle it on the kill stream? And he's like, well, Jim won't even talk to me. So I was like, all right, you know, I asked and uh, you said yes. So so what's the backstory on this exactly? Let me give you the backstory on this. So if you look at my timeline, that uh, YouTube comment was by this guy. The one where it's, oh, Jim's a file that Sargon favorited. Oh, yeah, we did show that earlier, yeah. Yeah, uh, and then somebody else shot me over something from his Twitter account where he's just going on, like, 30 tweets screaming about me being a, a child. So, I, I, you know, I looked at his Twitter and I looked at his YouTube, and it's the same username. So I Googled it, and I found a Fur Affinity account. And on the Fur Affinity account, their pictures are, like, fucking Shota, uh, basically, like, uh, Cub. So, like, pictures of very young furries, you know, in thongs and riding bananas and sucking on pacifiers and shit like that. They're pictures of, like, tails bent over, that kind of stuff. Yeah, get wholesome. <laughs> so he seemed, he, get, he got really upset once I, once I found that. And then he's like, oh, you're doxing me. Then he, he started screaming, you need to dox yourself so we can be sure you're not on the sex offender registry. Yeah. Um. Why, why would Sargon favor a comment like that? I love the, th- you know, it was a joke, right? Earlier today. Uh, yeah, and, yeah, and other yeah. people were saying it. Like a lot of people were saying, oh, I wonder if uh, uh, Sargon tribe and furry tribe will make an alliance. Well, here we go. <laughs> He's oh, so man. dumb. Sargon is so dumb. He tries that black PR and it literally is pulled on him three days later. And he still is oblivious to, you know what I mean? It's like, it's, it, I don't know how somebody can be so stupid. I'll be real with you guys. He speaks with a cadence that I actually can't stand. And then he tried to call Jim a PDF file while having some pretty disgusting stuff on his furry deviant art. Uh, can you hear us? I can hear you fine. Okay, here we go. You said uh, Medicar wouldn't talk to you. Well, here he is. Here we are. Can you hear okay. me? Okay. I can hear you fine. Okay, so uh, what's with spazzing out and screaming that I'm a file, and then you've got a fur affinity with cubs riding bananas? No, can you explain to me for just a moment why you have 500 people messaging me at the same time? I, just I do me know. that favor and answer that. I'll be happy to answer your oh, question. Okay, well, that'd be fantastic, girl. Um, if you look at my timeline, I'm not talking to anybody else but you. You've been the only person I've been talking to for the last hour. So I don't I know how I got anybody. I don't know how I got anybody to to do anything to you. I'm not stupid. Nobody is that. I, I don't stupid. know if we could. I don't you know if we could say that. Uh, you know, 
I, I don't know if a smart person would go around calling somebody a pedophile and they've got pictures of cubs riding bananas on their fur affinity. So you are. You are a pedophile, are you not? No, I'm not. I Am don't I have wrong? a fur affinity with cubs riding bananas like you do, sir. Okay. Are you sure? Do you not? Do Am I not sure have that I don't have a fur affinity with cubs riding bananas? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure on that. I see. Um, so you're not on the sex sexual predator list, is that right? That would be correct. How do I know? I don't know. Are you telepathic? Are you law enforcement? Like, I don't know. How would you know? I don't know because I don't know your real name. What's your real name? Oh, geez. I, I, let, me, let me jump out there and tell it to you. <laughs> this is a very smart strategy. You've learned well from the stepfather. That was pretty much it for that stream, with the only interesting parts being after the furry saying Jim is in charge of a bully cabal and admitting to making up all his accusations. I normally would have skipped that entire thing, even as a side story, but with the Killstream crew and friends recently taking down all of Sargon's troops, the Godfather himself arrived to talk on November 10th. I don't know. Um, uh, I excuse suppose, me, waiter. I suppose I would waiter, just say, uh, waiter, uh, 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 where are my appetizers? I've been waiting. Yeah, for I, I would minutes. say I would just say it's thirty, uh, 30 minutes, waiter. Where are my appetizers? My frittatas are going to get cold. Can I speak to your, Can I speak to your manager? No. I, I this Maybe service is this service is horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> I heard. I heard. I heard <laughs> you were going to be pitching a, a big brained idea, so I wanted a front row seat to watch it. Yeah, actually, I'm kind of glad you're here, Jim. Oh, I, I'm sure you are. I am, actually. I, I'm genuinely hey, glad. Hey, Ralph, you can I Ralph say one thing here? before before Please. we hear this amazing idea? Uh, yeah. 20,000 20, viewers, and look who shows up in chat. Oof. How you doing? How you doing, Oof. Carl? How you doing? I'm good. Um, so, you know they keep talking about Gamergate? No, who's they? The left. Uh, <laughs> the collective left have they all yeah. gotten together to discuss this okay yeah they they go on about it all the time um the latest one was you know the obviously kavanaugh the guy who was alleged to have been in the room with him was a guy called mark judge he apparently wrote two articles in support of gamergate citing mr repsy on a youtuber i did see and that obviously they, we talked about the kill stream i don't know how many times you know how often you get to catch yeah, that was show, like two weeks ago i think so yeah. we, we did talk yeah. about it on the show yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was like two weeks ago. Um, but that's pretty recent, really. And then you think, like, all the other ridiculous... Well, I mean, it, I mean, like, it's, it's recent if you don't watch Ralph, but if you watch <laughs> Ralph Weekly, you you heard about it when it was breaking those. That's, okay, that, that's great. But no, the, it is great. Is, the audience loves it. We love being on top of current events. That's what makes it so delicious to watch Ralph. Of course, while talking about Gamergate, Sargon said one of his most famous plans of all time, how he wanted to get Donald Trump to tweet out about Gamergate. This is a long one, so it's highlight time. Like, the idea that there's a Gamergate supporter, like, in the room with a guy who's alleged to have assaulted uh, the woman, who is then the center of the entire fucking, like, world's media for a week. That's, that's fucking incredible. <laughs> It was a bit <laughs> surreal, but but what I mean, what like what? Where are you going with this, though? That's what I don't. Well, where do you think I'm going with this? I have uh, I have no Sargon, idea. Sargon, I, mean, I literally have no I idea. Really like, I don't know. I'm, 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 you can do this. I, I I'm not even both. being sarcastic. I, I, like I, you message me. And, I, I, can I just one. say you right. message me? And you seem like really hype about whatever the idea was. Uh, oh, and I, 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 and I have I'm no idea what you're talking I, about, and then you start talking is, about Gamergate, and I'm just like, what? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, this is this is why I'm thrilled you're here, Jim. I am fucking thrilled you're here, right? I'm thrilled that you guys, the some of the core people in Gamergate are here, so I can talk to you about this. This is exactly what I wanted. Do you not think it would be really interesting to see how far we can make this go? Who's we? I, that sounds very collectivist. I thought we were individualists here, Carl. The collective internet. Do you not think that would be funny? Do you I think mean, anybody on the internet gives two about Gamergate at this point, it's it's no, become a joke. No, like, I, no, I don't, Jim. That's the point. That's the that's the entire point. <laughs> what is your pitch exactly? Get get the band back together? Is that what is that what you're saying? Like I don't. I don't understand. What, what would look? They think Gamergate is a tremendous, universal, and categoric evil, right? Who else do they think is a categoric evil? Again, if Gamergate is the eternal boogeyman, what would be the worst thing that Donald Trump could do? Uh, he's I mean, not going to co-sign Gamergate. He doesn't even know what to do. He could tweet out hashtag Gamergate. Is that what you're like? <laughs> well, most people have no idea what Gamergate was or is. 
I don't think you you realize that it's a thing on the internet, but most most people have. So no yeah, idea we we is. talked about this. I, before. I of course know exactly what Gaming Gate was because I was in it. You you don't know what the proposal is yet, but you've made assumptions. What, what you're building up to sure sounds dumb, but okay, I guess I can admit I'm wrong if you've got a better angle. Let's hear it. Yeah, I do. I do. You ready? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, we are. Yeah, I reckon we can get Donald Trump to defend Gamergate. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why not? <laughs> but why, why not? would he though? You just said Gamergate was why, over. Like, why would he? Why would he? The fucking troll in <laughs> chief. Why would he defend Gamergate? Oh, there are lots of reasons. <laughs> Take notes, because Sargon shows us just how to properly debate someone by completely forgetting what he was going to say so we can ask Jim a question. Hear this, please, more. Why are you talking so much, then? Don't ask me questions if you want to speak. I You're going to get answers. Questions. Go, go, you go. Why did, you, why did you interrupt when I was trying to answer Ralph's question? <laughs> Being silent so you could talk. Go. Yeah, but I'm asking you a question now. You, you're asking me why, why I'm answering you your questions. Me you ask Ralph's question. Why'd you do that? Sometimes you say that's so stupid and stunning that I, I have to say something. It's like it's like a tick. It's almost impossible not to say something. I didn't actually finish my sentence before you jumped in. Okay, well, I'm very sorry. I guess it's like your debate at MythCon. Oh, shut, up, shut, up, shut up, shut up, shut up, Carl, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, Carl. Let me talk. <laughs> that's kind of how I feel that you're acting, yeah. I'm acting like you? Yeah, I better stop. I don't want to, I don't want to pull that look off. Do you think that that's a good idea? Maybe you should stop. To, to act like you? No, fuck no. I agree. Next Completely thing you know, I'll be giving out of context quotes about the age of the child. No, let's go. <laughs> I, look, Jim, you can carry on interrogating teenagers about the size of their boyfriend's penises all you want. I, it's just... Hey, you know, Carl, I don't weird. don't get upset. I mean, I, mean, I it, don't even know what the I, I love how you tried. Is. I love how you tried black PR and it blew up in your face because you're fucking retarded. Black retarded. PR. Black PR, yeah. Oh, I don't get the conversation Jim's having. And oh, I'm getting accused of the same that I tried using. It. <laughs> Depends on the child, doesn't it, Carl? Okay, Jim. Yeah, it was, on, does it, was, it depend on the child, Carl? Does yeah, it depend it, it, on the it child? All black PR, it's all it's all, all by case by case basis. So you're you're cool. It's case by case basis. We get you, champ. We know what you're talking about. Sargon actually got Jim angry enough for him to go off on Sargon, something that only really ever happened before when he was talking with Ross and crew. Do that. Now, of course, Bannon was well, intimately involved with Gamergate behind the scenes. Hang on, man, hang on. You've Model said yourself, Trump that. is a giant troll. Trump is a giant troll. You said it repeatedly in this conversation, and you're right. Yeah, he you're is. But no, no, but you, do, you don't. No, no, listen, right. I can't tell you what I've been told, but you don't even understand the depths of how much he enjoys trolling, right? <laughs> and I can't. I'm not. Gonna, it was all off the record, so I'm not going to say anything. But this is a this is a fact. Trump is a troll, and we know he is. He likes to make them scream. Do you too. understand you're coming on a stream and making a public statement that you've talked to people in well, the maybe you should kind of sabotage it by Dargon. sending it to the Evan. Go, Jim, go. Oh Send my the god, phone you're please. such a pretentious. Will you Fucking just let me talk? You're, the, you're not listening. You're an idiot saying you want to set up this trolling op, and then here you are openly talking about it because you're fucking stupid. And then you're saying you know people that know well, Trump and that he's in on the know on it, you dumb. Didn't you didn't say he's in on the know on it. Jim, you keep doing this. You make up. God, you're stupid. I you're so fucking dumb. It's painful. It. What is the matter with you? I didn't say he's in on it. How many I? things do you have to and murder and touch and oh, latch onto and kill. Get into that, Jim. You're currently in the no, middle really. of what murder. How many things do you need to fucking murder and Jim, co op Sargon? Who does that? I'm trying to actually How many burnt here? bodies need to be in the pyre for you <laughs> to be satisfied? <laughs> I don't know. How big's your pile? Uh, way less than yours, man. <laughs> I don't think it is, Jim. Uh, you're I the fucking. Oh, 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 listen to Chatelet, Mr. You know, Mr. Chatelet here. Okay, Kikarino. Okay, yeah, let's have a series of people with character statements against your character for you. Being a bully all the way through. I am such a bully. Name years, the bully, Sargon. Has bully hunter seventy seven shown up? Oh, you know, Has bully hunter seventy seven and all sort of nonsense. Sargon. You have to do that because you work up so many people. And you know, it's fine, Jim. I don't care. I, I worked you up. This is what you I worked do. you up, and then care. you quit the internet for a while, didn't you? I uh, know. I don't recall quite. Uh, guys, uh, I need to take a break from YouTube and from the drama, and I need to stop. Yeah, I've already this explained this. that. Did you miss it? No, I yeah. Right after I kicked your ass and made a no at the beginning of the stream. Did you miss it? Oh, no, your rationalization for getting made to look a fool? Yeah, no, I heard that. Okay. You remember the stream yeah, I did okay. where 30,000 people okay. laughed at how ridiculous okay. you were? Do you, do you right, remember right, that? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So you agree? That you're yes, we agree on that point. Okay, yeah, we agree. We agree. Right. So this is this is the thing, right? So okay. 
Ralph, you're completely right. Trump is a troll and he enjoys trolling. And he's good at trolling too. Uh, I um, would argue Trump might be the greatest troll of all time. Honestly, yeah. I think you might be right. <laughs> After being questioned by Jim why they would be doing 90% of the work and Sargon would only be doing 10, Sargon refused to explain himself, saying that Jim was just wrong. But there needs to be a cultural phenomenon. And that's why, um, that's why I need you guys. Okay, so let me get this straight. Your plan is 90% us doing the legwork and 10% you sending out emails. No. What have I misheard then? How does this, what's the what breakdown? I'm not going to explain to you there, Jim. You're just wrong. So what do you reckon, Ralph? You just literally said, I'll email people to get them to pay attention to a cultural phenomenon. And then you guys. Yeah, that's, that's one thing I will do, Jim. That's one Okay, thing. well, fill us in on the rest of this 20-year plan. Well, I don't think I should, given this is a live stream. Okay. Oh, now you're taking my advice. That's good. I think it was good advice, don't you? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, well I'll I, take it then. Thanks. I did, cons- I, did, I did think about that maybe keep it on the low but i mean okay, well, it's too late d- now delete the stream doesn't... afterwards if you have to or whatever you know ah, but, you know, but the thing is you know it's not like be sensible though none of the people who are listening surely want to alert the far left that we're about to make them look stupid well you know, I, I will say this um you know i actually you know there are left to <laughs> watch this show too I mean, it's not just all you know well then they can people. yeah but hang on how much funnier will that be if they start raising the alarm that we're going to try and make donald trump endorse game again or ask him to endorse game again how funny does that sound on the face of it <laughs> you paranoid freak and then donald trump might respond to it naturally without us doing the f-ing thing i mean perhaps uh jim would tell sargon straight up that he wasn't going to send his audience to help sargon before ralph says that he's just hearing sargon out and i'm sure that like you know after after the stream's over like you know like people talk about in the comments say okay I'm sure no, I, hate, I hate sargon but if we did x or you know whatever and then you know a good idea will come out and then we can run with that and because, like, like you say, it needs to be something hot. So we need to. I mean, I haven't looked at whether they actually, um, you know, what's been put out about Gamergate today or anything. But um, it'll be very interesting to see, and or, and not even just to see. Like, if if something does happen that involves Gamergate, then holy, why, why not? Why not get Trump to endorse Gamergate? I mean, why wouldn't he? Like what you said, and I admitted that. Yeah, I would laugh if, if Trump tweeted about Gamergate. I don't think that that's. I mean, that's <laughs> that's so it's so crazy and absurd. Almost, I would have to laugh, but. Um, and I'm trying to be completely fair to your idea. I saw a couple people in chat. Ralph, you're being too nice. Well, I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying to hear it out. I, I just don't see. So this sounds like a lot of effort. When the whole like, so I ask you what the benefit was, and it's like, well, it's a laugh. I mean, it, it seems like a lot of effort. So, so when I was sitting there thinking about you coming on, and you're like, you got a great idea. I don't want to go into every single thing you said, but basically, said I have a big idea. It's great. And I was like, okay, what could this be? Me and Gator were kicking it around because the damn wasn't wasn't he was at work. It sounds like he skipped out of work uh, for this. But uh, I did. <laughs> and we're like, well, what's he talking about? He just talked to Bannon. Maybe the Trump TV thing. Bannon's going to do it himself. Like, we're sitting here thinking that. And then you came in with the Gamergate stuff. And I'm just like, what is that? Ha- I mean, this is almost, it almost, it's almost like you're trolling us. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, it, you seem really sincere about it. I don't think you are. I, I'm, I'm 100% serious when I say I think we can get not just, I mean, we, like, for example, I wouldn't go straight for Trump. I would probably, you know, try and get Trump Jr. or Stephen Miller or something well, can like that. Can I ask you something? I mean, you keep saying uh, we. Like, and then you say, well, you guys might have the juice to do this. I just oh, like to, right. yeah. yeah, I'd like to clearly state to you, I'm not going to use my audience for your plan. Now, maybe Ruffle will go along with that. Right. Yeah, that's no, that's right. right. It's not going to happen. Right. It's okay. stupid. And okay. I'm not going to try to get them to, for your chuckles, your smug chuckles. This is that's, so dumb. That's great. That's great. Awesome. I, I'm glad we're clear. So when you we're, say we, make sure that we is a royal one. It doesn't include well, it's, Yeah, it is a royal one. I mean, I would never try and include you in something. Good. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess, I guess my point is, it, it seems like you would be sh- shooting for something higher. You know what I mean? Like, okay. When, when, I, when I say we, I just want to say like anyone who's interested. Well, yeah, of course. And I'll go with what you said. <laughs> like, I, I, haven't, doing this I haven't signed on for anything. I, I just, I'm just hearing you out. You said I have this big well, idea. I haven't, and, I haven't initiated anything. You know, okay, I, yeah, just, I'll put that out there too. I haven't. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't signed yeah, on. This is just all you know. Posting I'm just trying to be fair like, and let you get and you know extrapolate yeah, yeah, on your this points. Is just and stuff. throwing out ideas, right? But the, the thing is, I've noticed that, like, from the perspective I have at the moment, I can see a path to achieve a particularly hilarious goal that does nothing but benefit people who oppose the far left and does nothing but enrages the far left. And I don't think there's anything wrong with us, like, you know, following this path. I think it'd be, I think it'd be good for, in fact, I can think of several good reasons why it'd be a moral good to do this. But, you know, you guys are generally just here for the laughs and stuff. So I figure this would be a massive f***ing laugh. Seriously, if we can get Donald Trump to, like, defend Gamergate, oh man, the sky's going to fucking come down. It's going to be amazing. (laughs) Just imagining it is incredible. After Sargon left, the gang had a little laugh and talked about the situation. Seriously, though, it's like they all started laughing in unison. 
have a have a think of it and uh and you know give me a shout on skype when you want to okay all right uh thank you for coming on sorry right. take it easy everyone bye yeah take it easy um yeah uh what just happened here I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what the f- was that like uh, is he trolling it like i still can't I don't know. Well, I, I brought this up. I, I, really, folks, if you get a chance, go listen to that Millennial Woes conversation that Sargon had with him where he tried to convince him that, no, no, if the alt-right want to be powerful, you need to act like SJWs. It's super smart. Trust me. It's a good idea. <laughs> so, so he keeps saying, well, wouldn't it be funny if Trump tweeted about Gamergate? Well, I mean, would I laugh? Yeah, but like, I, why would he do that? For, I, I would laugh from the sheer absurdity of the President of the United States tweeting about Gamergate in 2018, years after it was over. Like, I, I would more laugh at, you know, I, am I, this is life actually real? Like, what's happening right now? Not from the trolling leftist aspect, you know what I mean? Just like, what's I don't know, this was just dumb all over. This was like, a, <laughs> this is a troll attempt that was really stupid. And uh, if this was uh, genuine, it's even dumber. Like, I didn't pick your poison, I guess. I don't know. Do you think he was trolling us or... I, I, I hope he was. I, 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 I really I, hope he was. I'll agree with him. I really do hope this was his attempt at trolling because it's painfully a bad idea. But I will say, I have heard somebody else in his circles uh, mention to me that they wanted Gamergate 2.0. One of his capos specifically said that. They, 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 they literally, word for word, we need to do Gamergate 2.0. Can you help me? This was about a month ago. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I won't call that individual out. Because I, I want to, you know, I know he gets real upset when you share DMs. I'll leave it at that. Oh. Well, I have a couple ideas. I, I, won't, I won't make any speculations here while we're on air. But yeah, I, uh, so that's, so when he was giving his pitch, uh, like I said, me and Gator were sitting there thinking, oh, this is something big. You know, he just talked to Bannon. Maybe there's like something actually going on here. And then he starts talking. He starts talking about Gamergate. And I, and I finally just said, are, are you, are we trying to, what, what are you trying to get the, so, and then you showed up and he's like, great, you're here too. It's like, what are you trying to get the band back together? What, what is this? It's like, I, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. I don't, I don't, I, you, you pick your angle. It's, it's a really bad troll or it's uh, a really horrible idea. I don't know. I was expecting, I was really hoping for like year two of the 20 year plan. I was, I wanted a front seat to be able to listen to that. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just, I, I just wanted to make sure, like I, I was sitting there and I was talking to Gator. I was like, look, I'm going to keep an open mind. You know, if it's a great idea, it's a great idea. Even if it's from Sarkon. And then, and then we went to, to Gamer. This, 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 like, this, like, this is literally that. Image macro of the guy that goes her to her, um, and they're like, You're re-, and he's like, I was just trolling you. <laughs> like, that's what we just witnessed in this fucking call. <laughs> like, the end result is you made yourself look like a fucking retard. Oh, I just, yeah, I don't know. By the way, I just saw JF message me earlier. Sorry, man, I just now saw it. So, I was on air, I was just completely befuddled by what was <laughs> what was going on. So, uh, I apologize, but yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, and then, so he's making such a big point of coming, you know, literally we've been, you know, badgering him for months to come on the show, call him a and, and this and that. He wouldn't even come on the charity stream. And oh, this is, this is dead. I, I told you this uh, earlier. This is yeah. the exact same. This is a joke. And, uh, you know, uh, Ice Poseidon's audience makes this joke all the fucking time. It's like, oh, you know, 10,000 viewers, uh, 20,000 watchers. Look who shows up in the chat. It's once you started getting viewers now, suddenly I bet you said it was last night. I bet it was those comments. I told you he really hates it when you bring up numbers because they are important to him. He may try to play it off like it's not, but it is. And those jokes last uh, last night or the night before, whenever the fuck it was, when you had 8,000 people watching and he only had 1,600. Yeah, I saw those. I didn't yeah. even, you know what? I didn't even bring it up on air, but I definitely saw them. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You, and I said you had eight Sargons watching it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe I did read your comment. Yeah, maybe I did now that I think about it, but yeah. Later, while talking about what had just transpired, Andy Worski would give the best defense for what just happened that Sargon could possibly use. Is it A, Sargon saying it's real and he really wants to do this, or B, saying it was an attempt at a troll? What do you think is the best possible way of gracefully bowing out what just happened B. today? Yeah, it has to be B, B right? right? Yeah. Because if he, if he doubles down on this, he, he's going to look like the most ridiculous person to ever live for him. So, like, I, I can't think of anything worse than saying that this was an actual attempt at, at some kind of ops because that defies belief. No, he, he has to say that he was hammered. Oh, I was just drunk, guys. No, 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 no. I, saw <laughs> I, I, I almost OD'd or that. Yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah. Option C for cocaine, right? Yeah, yeah. No, oh, no. Man. Even on coke, you wouldn't f-ing think of this. Shit. You'd be like, you have a better idea, probably, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, Andy is right. I mean, he didn't light his nipples on fire, but he never said, hey, guys, let's do Gamergate 2.0. <laughs> I, I want him to double down, to triple down on this. I want him to go as far as he can. This is the dumbest f-ing thing ever, and I really want him to burn himself to the ground with it. Now, like I said, if this was X-Files, those would be the Monster of the Week episodes that you could just skip to stay on the main story, or the filler episodes in an anime. Well, something that can't be skipped, on October 12th, 2018, Ralph's alt account on Twitter, jcaesar87, was discovered. This happened because Ralph accidentally leaked out his email account. 
but that wasn't just his Twitter alt. It was also the same name he used on his orange YouTube account, Wink Wink. It's a little hard to describe what Ralph watched on it, but I think I can do it with one word. Diversity. Even Null had something to say about it on the farms and noted that he was likely going to be blacklisted from the kill stream because of it. Note, I'm going to have to censor one word just to be safe on both the Rumble and YouTube version, but it's in reference to what Chris Chan said to Blue Spike during the Julie Reveals Herself call. And the only activity on that jcaesar 187s Twitter account was retweeting Ralph slash hitting on Nikos. I'm totally getting blacklisted from the kill stream because of this shit, and I was having fun too, LMAFO. October 14th, 2018, Jim would reference Ralph's email account, Jay Caesar, being found out, and referenced Ralph's viewing history too. Doing this today would have made Jim an instant death enemy, but back then it was completely ignored by Ralph. Jay Caesar 187. I don't know what you're talking about. Jay Caesar. 187. I've never heard that name before. I don't think I've ever covered that in any of the videos that I've ever done. You know what? I think I can prove that. Let me just screen share my YouTube account and we'll see if I've ever done a video on Jay Caesar 187. Let me pop this up on screen. Oh no, what have I what have I done? I hope nobody I hope nobody reads my email address. I love big black at gmail.com. That would be embarrassing. I don't see any Jay Caesar videos, but I do see an email that's slightly embarrassing and might lead to some embarrassment. Oh God, what is this? Why is this audio now suddenly playing? What's going on? You know I don't understand. Filled by some black stud. You know, there's some black and bull that's just filling her with meat, giving her the real she is hers. Some big black bull just filling her with meat. I think, uh, yeah, but I, I think we can clearly see that that's never been a video topic that I've, I've ever covered. Unaware of what you're referring to. Ralph then tried to pull the ultimate defense on Twitter, saying that it was just him trolling before he started streaming. Caesar 187 was brought up in Super Chat, and it's around 8chan. I wasn't watching at the time, but I heard about it. I lulled. It's a pretty funny situation. It was just me around and trying to troll back before I even started all this writing and streaming stuff. As for the view history, it's not reflective of my personal taste, LMAO, even though I think the only really crazy one was the last one listed, I did recall using the account for years, so I'm not sure. Only thing I can think of is that I was trying to figure out who Lena Paul was. And when it comes to the Killstream side stories, that's pretty much it. This was originally just going to be a part of part 2, but after seeing the length that it got to, I decided that I had to cut it out. Soon, when we pick back up with the actual part 2, we're going to get to see what ended up happening with the heel stream. But I gotta get back to work on that. As always, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you soon.